How's it going guys? Today will be introducing the Shawshank V3 to y'all. The Shawshank V3 will be released this Friday, September 15th, and it will be going over its design, features, setup, and employment. Let's start with the why. First, why the Shawshank? The Shawshank was born as the first of its kind in the industry to allow a knife to be carried comfortably under a cummerbund alongside the front plate bag in a wing style pouch. The goal is to provide a comfortable pouch for your hard kydex sheath to sit against your ribs and to provide a simple way to set it all up without elaborate cordage, lashing, and the sort. Now why the V3? While there's nothing durability wise or functionally wrong with the previous V2, we did notice that a number of our customers wanted to run medium sized radios inside this. The V2 was honestly too small and inflexible to accommodate anything larger than a Veo Fang, and we also noticed a number of other items users wanted to run inside but couldn't due to the fact that it just wouldn't stretch out. That brings us to the design and features of the Shawshank V3. Starting with the flap, this hasn't changed at all with the exception of the engraving of course. Born from the original side flaps of our first art carrier, these Tegris flaps allow the Shawshank V3 to integrate on most any carrier or chest rig out there and allows the pouch to be ran on either side. Additional lashing holes are present in the middle if cable management is needed. For the pouch now, the design has shifted to a front to back stretch fabric construction. This allows a range of items to fit inside from shanks of course, to mags, tourniquets, or the aforementioned Motorola size radios. This one is an XTS 5000R. Side connectors also fit within it. The inside of the pouch features soft velcro for attaching sheaths, which we will demonstrate soon, and the mouth of the pouch has points for adding shock cord to retain mags, radios, and other important items. The front features mounting straps to attach the pouch to the Tigris flap or the inside of some cummerbunds. The rear features internal foam padding for additional comfort against the ribs. The pouch includes two strips of adhesive hook velcro for attaching sheaths and a minimalistic retention tab and shock cord for radios and the sword. This can be added to the top of the pouch to retain those items. To attach a kydex or other hard sheath, you'll just add the adhesive hook to the sides of the blade and then insert the blade into the pouch. You'll ensure that the connections don't touch until you're all the way where you want to be at the bottom and have the angle that you want. To use this as a radio pouch, you'll route the shock cord through the rear lashing point, then through the pull tab, and then tie a knot anchoring the shock cord to the mounting base under the Tegris flap. Then you'll insert your radio and pull the retention tab over it. To attach the pouch to the flap, you'll simply route these straps back and forth like any other Molly pouch, and retain the ends back in the pouch's mounting section. From there, you'll simply add the Shawshank to your front plate bag or chest rig at the Velcro loop section on the front. That concludes the rundown on the Shawshank V3. It's a truly simple pouch that offers you some of your most important items within reach in a secure and comfortable manner. We hope you'll snag one if you need one, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or DM us on Instagram or email us at customerservice at shaw-concepts.com. Thanks for your time, and as always, conquer all.